one thing that I've realized is that anything worth doing in life is worth doing consistently. But to be consistent, you also have to be disciplined. And developing discipline has been very hard for me. So being disciplined is just making a promise to yourself, which was very hard for me to understand as a teenager and a young man in my 20s. It wasn't until I was a, about 18 or 20 years old when I realized that I need to develop some discipline and some consistency if I wanna get where I wanna get in life. I had to let the hair down for this. It's also getting pretty cold. I think discipline, the main foundation of it is doing what you know you have to do, what you know is right, regardless of what any outside influence tells you. It does go a little deeper than that. I think there are some aspects of other outside influences that have a correct opinion or that they might know a little bit more than you do or way more. But for that, if you know that you have to do something to achieve your goals and you 100% want to achieve, achieve your goals, then you just have to do it. No matter what anyone tells you, no matter what I say, no matter what your family says, your friends, coworkers, none of that. So if you know that you have to go to the gym and the only time you're gonna have enough energy to go to the gym is in the morning, then you need to be disciplined enough to get up in the morning, grab your stuff, pack the night before if you need to, make your meals ahead of time so you can get up, start your day, and do what you need you know that you need to do the gym is an easy example um, I'm not the expert on fitness I'm not the best all I know is that it is a part of my life that I truly believe that I need and no matter what anyone tells me I'm gonna keep doing it I'm gonna keep going keep getting up early and I'm gonna keep going to the gym and trying to get to where I want to be and I know that bar always raises I think another one of the main things people forget about discipline is that it's not always fun and it's not always easy. Um, I think that's why a lot of us avoid being disciplined. We kind of just suffer through and be like, oh, well, you know, I guess I'm just never going to be in shape or I guess I'll never save enough money. I guess I'll never retire. I guess I'll never quit whatever habit. In a watered down version, it's just knowing exactly what you want to do and then making a plan on how to achieve it. Hence why I'm cooking right now. Sunday, it's like maybe one o'clock. I got up early and I went to the store. I got my food because I know that this serves two purposes. It Cooking all my food the week prior or the Sunday prior to work allows me to make sure that I know that I'm going to get like the proper nutrition that I need I'm not gonna spend crazy amounts of money going to a restaurant or fast food, no matter how much I want to. And it makes me start my week ahead of time. If I can sit down and do this, I know that all the tasks that I wanna achieve this week will be a lot easier um, because this is one less thing that I have to worry about. So you're probably wondering what was all the cooking about? It's kind of a metaphor for my uh, form of discipline. <laughs> but anyway, I firmly believe that discipline only comes within no one else can make you be disciplined and you might think oh well i get up every day and go to work and that's the motivation or whatever maybe that's true for you um, i know for me i get up every day and go to work because i have to pay bills i guess what i'm getting at is that we are the only people who can actually motivate ourselves and be disciplined and there's a lot of uh truth to that in my opinion I feel almost as though that discipline kind of gets lost somewhere after high school or maybe starting high school. You start feeling the, oh, well, I'm just, I don't want to go. And that can carry into other aspects of your life. Um, I guess removing the phrase, I don't want to, when it comes to the things that you know you have to do, that is probably the first step. When I stopped saying, oh, I don't want to get up early and go to the gym, I felt it way easier. And I almost like tricked my mind into being like, well, I can't wait. I can't wait to do this. And over time and consistency of doing things, you form good habits and you become more disciplined. And it's easier for you to do the stuff that you know you have to do, but you don't want to do. 
with that, I'm going to go pack up my lunch for the week and my breakfast. One other thing is not everyone's going to understand why you're doing what you're doing or why you want to do something. Um, and just like I'll never fully understand you, you can never fully understand me. We can only understand the parts that we see from somebody, not their entire case. We can relate to them in many ways, but not everyone's going to get it. Like, And you don't have to explain that to them. There's been numerous times where family members or friends would be like, well, why don't you want to come out or why don't you want to go to lunch with us or why why do you get up so early and you can sit there and you can explain it to them but at the end of the day they they'll never really understand even even if they go and do it themselves there's still a possibility that they'll never understand why you do what you're doing or why you want to do that for me I want to get in shape so bad it doesn't matter what time I get up in the morning it doesn't matter how long it takes me to prep all my food. It doesn't matter that I eat the same thing every day. If you understand that, great. If you don't, also great, because we will never fully understand each other. Stay disciplined, stay vigilant, keep going, stay consistent. All right, we'll catch you in the next one.